Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt and in this video we're gonna generate a cookie policy for your website completely free. Let's dive in right now. If you want to help me out, go to wpressdoctor.com slash cookie policy like this and press enter. Now it's completely free, but you will help me out. And then we are at the Cookie Yes plugin. Now, if you want to have a cookie policy, we need to sign up with Cookie Yes because they need to scan our website to determine what cookies you are using on your website. And that way they can generate a real cookie policy which is custom made for your website with all the cookies you are using. So we're gonna press on this blue button, generate cookie policy. Then we need to create a free account. So fill in our email address. Then you need to fill in your exact domain name without HTTP and without www. If you have more websites, no problem. You can later fill them all in over there. Then we're gonna use a really strong password, accept the terms and conditions, and we're gonna press on get started. Here we can customize our layout for the banner. You want the white background, the black background, or the auto-generated template, which is by default the white template. We're gonna use this one here. You can even customize, reject all cookies or accept all cookies, which is by law very important. Then you can also go with a banner like this, or you can go with a box. They are compliant with the local laws, so you can choose whatever you want. In our case, we're gonna use a classic banner over there with the white background. If your visitors are from another country and they speak another language, just change over here your default language and we press next step. Now we need to install the banner to our WordPress website. Log into your WordPress website. If you're still logging in using WP Admin, no, mm, that's not no, a very no. safe way. So please watch my security tutorials as you do not want to get hacked. And on your dashboard, we go to plugins and press add new. Then type in over here, cookie yes. Enter. And we're gonna press install now on the GPR cookie consent from cookie yes with 1 million active installs. That's a lot. And then we press activate. Then from here, we go to settings over there. From here, we're gonna click on this banner, connect your existing account. And then we see this screen. As we are already locked in with cookie yes, we only need to press on connect site to cookie yes. Then we're gonna press yes and press continue. Now our website is connected. Well done. Then we go to the Cookie Yes web app. And then a new screen will be opened which says we have sent an email to your email address and we need to verify it. That's what we're gonna do first. And we're gonna press this button to verify our email address. And then we see the message, yes, well done. Press go to your dashboard. Now you also might notice that you have another email which says cookie scanning completed for your website. You can delete this email and then we go to our dashboard. Welcome to your cookie yes dashboard. I will walk you through all these settings so you know how this thing works and what you can expect. From here you can see that we have successfully set it up. If you press over here you go to your website and you can see the banner on your own website. Our beautiful cookie banner over here which completely works. We can reject it, accept it, customize it over here. Really great. As you can see, there's actually really nothing going on on this dashboard. But now, now I have logged in with a client of mine and you can actually see something's going on. We have 10 cookies on this website, four categories. We have 85% accepted the cookies and 15% rejected the cookies. And here you can see all the logs. So this content status has been accepted and here is the date and the time. Really interesting. I'm gonna walk you through all these options in the menu so you know what you can do and change over there. Now I'm gonna walk you through all these settings over here so you can see what actually is going on. Press on cookie banner and here you can change your consent template from GPR or just US state laws. If you have visitors from both Europe and the United States, you should use this one, GPR and state laws. But then we have to upgrade to a pro or a higher plan to do this. Make sure that you're safe on the right side of the law. Then we have geo-target ba banner, which is worldwide, UA countries and UK, or select your own countries. But then again, we have to upgrade. If you're running ads on your website, like Google Ads, for example, you have to use this option. But then you have to upgrade to a pro plan, but make sure, again, you're on the right side of the law. 
if you click on advanced settings you can set your consent expiration days it's standard set on one year but maybe you want to have on two weeks and then people get asked again here you can add a reload page on consent action i would not advise you to do so but in some cases you might want to do that if your ads not loading correctly or your tracking cookies do not work correctly and you see this in your statistics then you can reload your page if we go then over here we can go to layout you can choose the type of which layout you want do you want it in the bottom do you want it in the top do you want it full screen on the bottom or full screen on the top you can also use a box type in here in here in here or in there if you want it centered in your screen then you need to upgrade if you want to change it press publish changes then it's gonna connect to the cookie plugin on your website and publish your changes then you can over here we can customize our text if you go to cookie notice we you can change the title we value your privacy and then we use cookies but we can also do something like here have a cookie and you can also use icons for example here you can change all these text here you can change these text to match it up with your personal style something like this for example just change it whatever you want if you don't want to change it keep the standard version it's all okay here you can add a close button which is actually required by the italian law i don't know why but it's in the law so just <laughs> keep it in there here we can change the accept all text you can also use yes give me the cookie or reject all and and here we can change all the buttons that we want below you can change it or just keep them the same you can add in a cookie policy link which should be useful and just make sure to enter the url to your cookie policy then they can click on it and read it for themselves if we scroll down you can also use a custom logo inside of here um, disable cookie yes branding upgrade it and then you can unlock this and we go to the next one the preference center this is a text people see when they click over here in my case customize your taste if you click on it you can see this entire consent preferences then you can change this text over here and you can change the button in there well i would say this is fine you can customize it the way you want it if you have multiple cookies on your website like analytics social media or from your web shop you will see over here if you click on necessary people can see what cookies you are placing according to your website functional analytics performance advertising now people can actually customize it over there and then they can hit this button save my preferences or yes give me the cookie and then they get it all and here you can change the save my preference button also the show more button that's this button show more let's change this to read more and read less so read more read less works excellent if we scroll down we can go to the cookie list then you can see this one is the cookie list you can also disable this entire list so then you cannot click on it so it might be in your case that you're seeing all kind of different cookies here that's great here you can change all the labels like like this label always active if you click on one you don't have for example analytics i don't know no cookies to display you can change the text over here and then when you click on it you can see it over in there and then we have over here a revisit consent button it's actually not visible in this screen so go to your website in a new incognito screen we can see that the cookie banner is over there if we press yes give me the cookies you now see on the right corner this button cookie settings it doesn't look very nice on your design i completely agree but you can click on it and then you can change it again but if you've already accepted it why would it be in here again well it's a matter of personal choice i don't like it so i'm just gonna disable this one and press publish changes and then i don't have this on my website and that looks way better then we have over here the text for blocked content if you have a lot of videos embedded on your website for example you cannot load them in if you don't accept the cookies because youtube and vimeo place also cookies from their website and then you can change this text for blocked content please accept cookies to access this content from here we can go to the colors in here and then you have the color scheme you can only choose from light to dark or auto generated according to your website if you click on this one it will use the most common colors on your website and then change your banner as you can see right now this is not a very good option with our banner and our website but you can also just choose the light and then press customize light colors click on it 
Here you can change the cookie notice, the background color, for example. We can make it red. Let's see what happens. The borders, the message, the title, the background, the borders. You can change everything about this banner, which is a very nice feature even in a free version. That's why I'm really happy with the Cookie ES plugin. It's very customizable. If you've changed it to whatever you want, you can press Publish Changes. Then we have over here some custom CSS. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you want to change your buttons to go completely your style of your website with different kind of makeup, shadows or whatever, this is the way to do it. All right, after you've done this, we can press Publish Changes and then we go to the Cookie Manager. In the Cookie Manager, we can actually manage our cookie list. Very interesting. Here you can see the last scan. It was in March 22 and that's a long time ago. But I cannot press scan now because my client has not validated her email address. I don't know why, but you need to verify it before you can scan it again. If you did verify your email address, you can over here schedule your scan, but it's only for the basic or a higher plan. And it's important to do so to scan it, for example, monthly and do a full scan of all your options. It's included in your plan, so make use of it and it's very useful because sometimes cookies change because you install different plugins or you use different kind of tools. This should be really useful. All right, if you go over here, you can see all the cookies that are necessary. We have the Cookie yes Consent cookie, which is from Cookie yes itself. Then we have some other kind of third party cookies that are being placed on this website. If you go over here, you can see the functional cookies. None are in here. You can see the analytics cookies. They have different kind of cookies running on their website. They have the Google Analytics, the GID cookie, the Google Analytics Universal and the Google Analytics. They're using a lot of Google Analytics cookies and well, this should be fine. Maybe they're running multiple accounts. I don't know. We're just going to keep it in here. Then we have over here the performance cookies. None of those are here. Advertisement cookies. They have an ID cookie set by Google for advertising purposes, of course. And then we have uncategorized cookies, which are the cookies from their third party. But then we go to consent lock. In here, you can see all the visitors from your website and what they have actually done, accepted it or rejected it. You actually only need this when you're going to court because some company sued you for not being consent with cookies. In most cases, you definitely never want to use this. Then we go to languages over there and you can change your language list. We only have the English version right here and that's great. Now you also have outro translation. That's very useful if you have multiple languages on your website. If you want to customize it yourself in different kind of languages, just press add language. And we can add in, for example, Dutch, use this one and add it in. Wait a second. And then you can edit your content in here. And then you can change the text from the original English to the Dutch. If you are Dutch, you can read that this text is not an exact translation of my custom text. So if you want to have your custom text in different kind of languages, use this one, add in all your languages, save them, the buttons and everything, and then press save and publish. Because Cookie Yes by default will only translate their own standard text for your cookie banners. All right, then we can go to site settings in here. So you can change your basic configuration, your URL, your site title, if you want to have it disabled or enabled on your website. It's very useful if you want to debug your website. For example, sometimes things happen, strange things you cannot explain. Just disable it and see if this is a problem. Probably not, but it could be. Then you have the consent lock. lock. You can turn it off, turn it on. If you want to disable your banner on specific pages, then you can do this with a pro or higher plan. It could be useful from some funnel pages and you don't want to bug people with uninteresting cookie policies. Then you can do this one. If you want to renew all your customer consents, just press renew and then it will actually reset all the cookies placed. And then people have to consent again when they visit your website. Here you can enable or disable the Google consent mode. If you enable this, when people don't allow the analytic cookies, they will use a basic analytic feature cookies so that people are still getting tracked, but with less data. Very important if you want to read everything about it, just follow this link and it's being explained very thoroughly. So you can read it yourself. You can also allow Google Tags to fire before consent. Well, you can do this, but actually this is not legal in some countries. So I would suggest to keep this disabled. 
if you still want to do this, there is still an option, so that's nice. Another important thing up here, you can see your current plan, which is currently free. And you can see that I have nine of the 25,000 page views used each month. If you notice that you're going over this page views because just you have a lot of traffic, I assume you also make some money off your website and you can upgrade over there. Click on it. If you go to annual, you get two months free of usage, which is very nice. Just select the right plan you want to have upgrade it and then you're all set for the rest of your life and now we can finally create our cookie policy go to more over there and press on this one cookie policy generator click on it and then we are at your types of cookies in your heading you can choose whatever title you want to use for your cookie policy types of cookies we use sounds great let's use this you can always change it later on yes we want to show the cookie audit table because that's exactly what this policy is all about so we're going to press save and proceed then you have a heading manage your cookie preference which is great revisit concept widget just keep it in over there then at the description you can change this entire text you want to have if you want to add something more inside of it you can do this right there after that we press generate and here is our beautiful cookie policy finally created by cookie yes this doesn't look very impressive, but the key is in here, the type of cookies we use. And here it says your cookie declarations will be displayed here once you copy and paste this HTML code on your website. This is a very important one. Now it will show all the people on your website what cookies they are using. And that's the whole point of the cookie policy. So what are we going to do? We're going to press copy HTML over there and then we go to our website. On your website, you can just go to pages and create a new page. Then we're gonna add in a title called cookie policy and we can choose a block or if you're using elementor or divi or whatever just use an html block or module paste it in we're gonna search for a new gutenberg block called custom html click on it and we're just gonna paste in everything we have just copied from the cookie yes and press publish and we're gonna click on view page over there and then we have the cookie policy for this website, which says a lot of things over there. And of course, here are the types of cookies we use on this website. Now you can see that your cookie policy works the way it should be. If you have any questions or you just want to say thank you, Matt, drop them down in the comments. I'll always reply. Hit that like button if I helped you out. And of course, subscribe over there because I have a lot less subscribers than viewers. So you would really help me out. Check also this video, which has nothing to do with cookies. Nothing at all, I think.